All right, so this is my shop so far. I can give you a little uh, inventory on what I got going on. Be a real quick video. All right, so uh, over here we have a, a boat that I started making a few years back and haven't finished. It's, uh, you know, RC, of course. Someday I'll finish it. Got some controllers. Got uh, my little video bag because I'm very new. I don't have very much. That is a rock crawler that I built, I don't know, probably about eight years ago. It's out of a nylon rock crawler. Um, you know, one of one of these here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but I don't know if anybody remembers them. I got a, I got a couple bodies down here, too. I mean, that's it's been that long. They're dirty. This one's cool, though, because I put lights all over it. Yeah, little tire carrier out of some hardware at the hardware store. Anyways, those are on the back list. I'll get those done eventually. Got a box of miscellaneous parts. Oh, some new parts. Some parts for uh, the projects that are up and coming. And of course, there's one of our two-wheel drive slashes. Um, I will be actually ripping the rear end out of this in another video and showing you uh, the transmission and uh, all its fun inner workings. Uh, this is an old three-gear style transmission that they're still putting in these two-wheel drives. And uh, they have a flaw. And I'm going to point it out and I'm going to fix it again. That's uh, one of our four-wheel drive slashes. This one has been abused. But uh, that's great because it makes a good bashing video. And, of course, my messy, messy tool area. We got the Telluride. That thing is pretty cool. I don't know if any of you are familiar with the Lunchbox or the Midnight Pumpkin. Uh, made by uh, Tamiya, but uh, that thing is basically the same thing on steroids. It's four-wheel drive, pops a wheelie. I got I got little wheels on the back of it. It's really fun to play with. Uh, good beginner rig, actually, uh, and it rolls really well. And, of course, we've seen that sitting over there. That's one of the rates. And then there's that broken-up bodied slash that we've seen over there. That one is, is the four-wheel drive. Um, Scott Douglas edition it's a pretty nice rig uh, but I decided I would buy that one also that one is the ultimate comes with all the extra goodies even though I've taken some of the goodies off to put on that one and I've upgraded it already even though I wasn't supposed to it was just supposed to be my bashing rig I just bought all together just to run and beat I still took it apart there's my Wraith. Well, one of my Wraiths. And there's the custom blue one. And there's my Traxxas Slash. Like I said, we're waiting for uh, drive axles for this one, as I said in one of my other videos. And then I'll be able to at least put it back together and play with it. And there's the GoPro Wraith. Got a... Uh, a lot to do to that. That's kind of on the back burner, too. It's made up of miscellaneous leftover parts. Well, and actually, uh, the kit parts from the kit, because the kit comes with goodies, and I got them all on there. Um, sadly, this is my Blue Monkey Wraith. <laughs> um, parts are coming for it. I'm just waiting. I'd say another two weeks, and we'll be able to really get into this one. The Telluride. Apparently, something broke on it. I have not had a chance to fix this one yet. I'm probably going to fix it over the next couple days. I probably won't do a video on this one. It depends on what I'm fixing. I'm not sure yet. This is a custom crawler. Um, back when crawlers started you know, being the hot thing on the scene. Um, all custom chassis, custom links, and it uses the clawed axles. And the clawed tires. 
I really want to finish this one. Uh, in one of my boxes, I also have uh, a Claude, uh, the Claude Buster uh, frame and stuff, and I'm going to be restoring that eventually also. I don't know where it is at the moment, otherwise I'd bust it out and show you guys too. That is the Red Wraith Reborn. Uh, we beat this thing and beat this thing and beat this thing, and then I just went out and I bought like a full red kit for it. So we got all the goodies. Uh, we'll be doing some trail ride videos with this. About those poison spider rims. I gotta say I'm not real crazy about them. They're a pain in the ass. But I got new meats on there. Got the swampers. We got all the red. Um, this is actually my son's. And I've been uh, helping him get it all together. Because he likes to go play with me. But... Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this thing. I can't really explain it. It's got killer flex. We did the suspension um, like no other, I guess. <laughs> I went ahead and I took these um, electrical, uh, I don't even know what they are. They, they would hold something to like the wall, you know, and then they, they fit on this really nice. And then we, of course, we connected them down there. I'm horrible with the camera. I might as well be drunk tonight. Anyways, and it, it does. It gets it gets pretty sick flex for absolutely almost nothing. It cost me, well, besides buying the shocks, you know, to actually get the flex. Um, it cost me like five bucks maybe for screws and some different things just to find out what worked best. Um, and the cool thing is, is my son's happy with it, so... I'm happy with it. Uh, we got the Savage XL. That thing is a monster. It is a nitro. I don't play with it anymore. I haven't played with it in a long time. And I don't know if I'm ever going to get around to it. Really cool rig. Um, really fast. I mean, this thing, the tires, I mean, just to give you an idea. This is a slash tire. You can see the size, the difference there. It fits right in there. You can use the slash tire and rim as a rim for the thing. It's huge. That's what we call a monster truck. Sadly enough, it just sits there. Never ever play with it much. Maybe I will one of these days. These are uh, a, they're called Swamp Dogs. They look like that because they've been sitting around. These things are absolutely brand new, never driven on. Um, I did cut out the lugs. You know, they're the bogger. And when I used to uh, run the one-to-one -one trucks, on the race trucks, we would cut out, you know, the small lug. And so I cut out the small lug on this, and I never got around to getting rims for it. Um, they're just misshaped and miscolored from sitting around. I bought it to put on here. But uh, it's a 2.8 rim, and they don't really make any real cool 2.8 rims that I've found so far. But I am going to keep looking, and I'm going to buy a set of beadlock ones for that, just so I can put on this project. And so I can say, look, honey, I didn't waste money. They're, they're getting used. I got some extra Wraith stuff down there. Some more stuff that we're not doing anything with. A pile of bodies and whatnot. Um my body and that's about it got the old toolbox there well that's it I mean it's I don't really have a whole lot I mean I guess I could show you my new edition there's my microphone you guys might not be aware of it but you might notice from the poor video quality that uh, I film with my mini iPad and my iPhone 4s this mic is a special mic just for that. It's called iRig, and it uh, it actually plugs plugs into my phone jack. I haven't got to use it yet. It's brand new. I just got it. And uh, what I do is I, I I bought the tripod, and I have this mount, and this is for the iPhone, and then I have a little bit bigger one for my mini iPad. And uh, depending on what I'm using, if I want to set it up, I also have a a smaller one. And what I can do is I can put the 
the like the phone on this and I can put the uh, mini iPad on that and I can actually film from two different angles because the equipment the app that I'm using on my phone um, allows me to use five different views so I can feed five different uh, iPhone products or Android products into it and and you know get different angles I'm gonna play with that really soon I haven't had a chance to play with that portion yet because I've been messing around with hundreds of different apps trying to figure out what's the best one to use so yeah that's basically it we're pretty much focused on uh, this project here this project here and we're going to be focusing on this one just because it gets all the leftovers that one uh, that one and possibly that one all at the same time oh and that's ah that's not the only thing now that I think about it oh that that's smarts anyways now that I think about it, we also have this one. That's all that's come in so far. The body. But this here is uh, our two-wheel drive slash setup. Um, it's going to be our on-road one. And unfortunately, it's a really crappy view right now, but uh, I have got an unboxing video of it, and you can see the full thing. But that's another project that we're working on that we're waiting for parts right now is the chassis and, and everything to set up the two-wheel drive on that. Uh, the two-wheel drive slash on-road car. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, like I've said in my other videos, I got a lot of stuff going on at the same time. And unfortunately, um, I tend to forget what I'm doing. Must be the old age. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, love to get a thumbs up or... Uh, subscribe. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.